Welcome to Calvin TV's News and Views, Ireland's first live web TV current affairs programme with over 1.8 million viewers in 214 countries and we are on a web TV site near you. My name is Anya Duffy and we bring the programme to you weekly on Friday 7 to 8 Greenwich Mean Time. Each week we take a look at what is going on in the county and invite guests to chat live in the studio. If you have an event you want us to know about or an issue you'd like discussed, please email us at drumlinmedia at gmail.com. So, anything interesting going on, please do let us know. Every week we like to include some photographs from around the county. Please, if you have some photographs that you'd like us to see and to share, please send them in to us again on drumlinmedia at gmail.com and do tell your story about them. At this point as well, we'd like to say hi to the folk who log on and watch us all over the world. And you also can email us with news and views from all over the world right here to Cabin TV. And this week we have an email from Kathleen Murphy in Lower Bronx. And Kathleen had a fantastic family reunion recently. All six brothers and sisters met in Lexington for the first time in 10 years. And Kathleen sent an email to Cabin TV just to say thanks to all her family who made the trip over to New York. So well done there to the Murphy family. This week, well, what's the weather like this week? The weather is a little bit more like summer. Temperatures are well below normal though for this time of the year, so that means the grass is not growing as it should be. And at the moment, farmers are just about scraping their first cut. Now, this is not as it should be, and we'll be keeping an eye on that. Of course, the farmers had a father crisis in, two th in the winter of 2013, and we do not want to see a repeat of that this year, so we'll be keeping an ear to the ground. Back in April, we had in the studio Joan O'Gowney, Noel Connell and Eamon Fitzsimons. They told us all about the JFK 50 mile challenge and that is, remember folks, that's where you walked 50 miles in 20 hours. Yes, that was last weekend. Hundreds of people were there to do to try that and do the challenge. Uh, Cavan TV was there and you will see some footage of that at some stage during Cavan, Cavan News and Views. And also folks, I did it myself. Now I hadn't trained specifically, I must say I didn't, but I did manage to walk 30 miles on the day and got my feet totally shredded. But it was great fun and I must say the camaraderie and the, the enthusiasm of everybody who did the run and anybody who completed any part of it was absolutely fantastic and all monies went to the Irish Society of Cancer and to the Lark Centre. Really, there is so much talk nowadays of how obese Ireland is getting as a nation and yet we've never seen so many people walking, jogging, cycling and taking part in many kinds of fitness challenges. And indeed, fitness events are a great way of raising funds and a new way of encouraging many people who are not fit to get fit. For example, you've heard of the Couch to 5K. Well, that's with it, well within anybody's limits. And we encourage everybody to do that and of course, sponsor the people who are out and about doing that. Let's go to some local town news and the place to be next Friday night evening, next Friday evening is Red Hills. Heather Humphreys, TD Minister for Arts, Heritage and the Gaelic Club will be launching Carnival on the Green. That's a very successful carnival that has been going on for the last number of years. A beautiful sculpture of a little girl dancing with bunting has been commissioned and it's been created by artist Joanne Behan. Joanne is a sculptor from Clonus, County Monaghan. And this, this sculpture is a symbol of just how lovely it is in the green in Red Hills. And it's the focal point of all that happens in the village. It's very famous, of course. You do remember the film, The Playboys, was filmed in Red Hills. And that was also written by Shane Connaughton, who lived in Red Hills for many years. And that starred Aidan Quinn and Robin Wright. And just a little bit of information on Robin Wright. She is currently in the House of Cards. And also, if you look at the film, The Playboys, look, at through, the, look through the footage and you see the uh, footage of the people sitting in the chair church and you will see many many familiar faces there. The launch is next Friday evening at, at 7 o'clock and everybody is welcome. What can we say? Best wishes to all students who started their exams and that's to junior cert and leaving cert and they started last Monday, last Wednesday the 3rd of June so best of luck students. Usually the weather is good this time of the year, I don't know what happened this year. What's on this week? You can go to Manalti and there is the Yoga Fest and that's on this weekend, Saturday the 13th and the 14th, a fantastic yoga programme right through the day. Now this is a low cost festival, so it's a very cheap festival and a very, very action packed festival, uh, even though it is yoga. So it's 30 euros per day or 55 euros for the two days and you can camp for five euros. So that's a brilliant fest. It's called a de-stress fest. In Abilara Parish, uh, they are having Derek Ryan playing tonight, and that's to raise funds for the church roof repairs. Doors open at 10 o'clock. Please support. 
The uh, Sean Maguire tribute weekend is on this weekend. Well, Sean was a renowned fiddle player from Kilcoge, that's in Cavan, near Cavan, near Finney, Cavan. And this is a weekend of traditional music and uh, for all sorts, young and old, all kinds of music and all instruments welcome. And uh, that's this weekend in Finney. To raise funds for the oncology unit in Cavan General Hospital, there is a 5K stroke one stroke walk, run stroke walk, and that's in Kilnanleck this Sunday, June the 14th. It starts at uh, 12.30. You must register at 10.30, and the gathering is at uh, Plunkett Park. And take care. T please do sponsor again. Speaking again, again of fitness events, Gauna is having its ladies football club. Are they having a sponsored walk slash run of 5k? That's this Sunday. Registration is at 11.45 and the race is at 12 noon. Something a little different, St Killian's Heritage Centre is having an exhibition of photographs taken by dramatist John Millington Singh. And that's part of the Killian, of the Killian Singh Fest and that's on uh, in the next couple of weeks. And that festival is free, the, the, uh, sorry, the exhibition is free. Now I just want to tell you a little bit about John Millington Singh. Who is John Millington Singh? We've all heard of him because, because he is the person who wrote the Playboy of the Western World. Some culture here now for you folks. John Millington Singh is a play He's an Irish playwright, a poet, a prose writer, a travel writer, a photographer and a, collection, a collector of folklore. He was born in 1871 and he died in 1909. He died at 38 years of age with Hodgkin's disease. He was a very, very talented man and as part of that fest, a uh, Mill Race Drama Group are putting on, they're putting on the Tinker's Curse. So that's part of the Millington Fest. Go along, see the photography in the centre and go along to the parade brilliant stuff. Okay, so that takes me nice and neatly to my first guest this evening, uh, speaking of photography. And my first guest is a photographer who sent in some of his work to Cabin TV and we did have the shield and backdrop a few weeks and we paid through to him. I'd like to welcome to the studio Martin Sheridan from Bailiborough. Martin, Thanks. a long wait this evening, but <coughs> here we are on air at last. Yeah. Thanks very much for coming in, Martin. Yes, photography. Um, you've got some fantastic photography and we're going to see some of that. See some of that later. Um, yes, photography. Everybody is a photographer nowadays yes. with, with digital cameras and iPhone cameras. They can do a lot of stuff, but good old photography is hard to beat, isn't it? It is, yes. And you, you, you studied photography actually yourself, didn't you? You went to the real photography school, didn't oh you? I did, yeah, the Dublin Photography School. Mm. I went there for a year and I'm still involved in it. Mm. And um, I recommend it to anybody that wants to learn yeah, it's one thing, it's great taking a photograph, but actually the scenes, the work and everything behind it really helps a bit more. Like we were talking earlier, we were talking, you were giving me some tips there on light and shutter speed yeah. and, and, and stuff like that. Now to get back to camera, the one thing I want to say to you is, is, is uh, Martin, what's going on these days. When we see celebrities in the news and we see, we see them all doctored and photoshopped. Yeah. What do you think of that? And then young people are seeing these images in magazines of Photoshop. Photoshop can do absolute fantastic things, can't it? It can, yes. But um, I like to get the true photograph, not something that's made up digitally. Um, yeah. Tell us some of the things though, that Photoshop can do. Well, she can take away all the lines. Uh, you never have a wrinkle, bags on your eyes. Yeah. You and they give you a full set of teeth. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah. Whiten your teeth. Yeah. If you've any missing, give your teeth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and also as well, they can say that like when you're doing like when star celebrities are doing the, you can, you know, like. Oh yeah, you can make it slim bits or of people. Or, yeah. yeah. Do you think that's really fair though, Martin? It, it's causing a lot of distress yeah, to young people who, who want to be through. like that. It's not showing. It's not showing that they say the camera never lies, but now the cameras are lying, aren't they? Definitely, yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of like distressing young people because they're thinking, I want to look that up. Why can't I be like that? I want to be like that. And it's causing mental health, really, <laughs> among young people. We're going to see some of your photography. Martin, you are involved in uh, camera clubs. Yes. You're in two camera clubs. Yeah. I'm in the Bearable Studio Photography Club. I'm in the Breffany one. Um, which is, uh, I really recommend it to anybody. Yeah for to join a camera club yeah. and get involved. I told you I joined a camera club and I found it very, 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 it was way over my head, high flute, and I just could not get the hang of it. But you have a brilliant thing, you said everybody should have a buddy. Yeah. Anyone new coming in should have a buddy and somebody that they can ask questions if they don't understand anything. Mm. And they're there to teach them how to use their camera. A lot of ones come in, they don't even know 
they're in automatic mode, they don't know the manual, they don't know the settings or what they can do. So um, your body can tell you all this. Um, yeah, and what I found as well, Martin, is that uh, you, wouldn't, you could be a hundred years and you'd never figure out this and just somebody to sit down and tell you five minutes and explain how it's done and that's all you need, yeah, isn't it? definitely. And we do uh, group outings and that's where you learn more. It's when you go out with a group of people and even I, when I go out, I learn something new mm. because um, that's what it's all about, getting tricks of other people, yeah. seeing what they're doing. Yeah. Um, and your work, <coughs> you do weddings? Yeah. Mm. I do our weddings, I do communions and confirmation, but my real passion is landscapes. That's yeah. what I like doing. Mm. Um. Also, now talking about modern day stuff and getting modern day as well, uh, a cameraman has to know a lot of stuff about who not to take a photograph and where not to take a photograph. Like it's very hard, you can't yes. hardly photograph children now at all, no, isn't that right? No, you need permission. Mm. You can't just go up and photograph a child without getting the permission um, of the parent. Mm. Um, so if you just saw a nice snap <coughs> along the street, a funny thing with a child, and you cannot, you cannot no. show that anywhere. You can't take it and you can't show it. No, because sure. you're leaving yourself open to, you know, to, which is only right too. Like, so mm. like I haven't said that that no, though, Martin. We're captured on, on camera everywhere we go. Like literally, you know, like you know, like crimes. You know, like there there are video cameras everywhere yeah. now, CCTV cameras. But that's a different story. That's a different okay, thing. so let's get back to the, to the trick of photography, and uh, what what it takes. Everybody, well, every photographer wants that one good picture to put yeah. about there, isn't that right? Because I always say when I ask what's your best shot, I always say my next one. Because <laughs> I'm always That's looking. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm always looking. You're never happy. You always want to get something better. No you could go out to a place three or four times, and you still think, yeah. something I can get a yeah. better shot. You and I were talking earlier, mm. and we were talking about photography. Because I like photography, but I mean, I, you know, like, it's it's very deep for me. But anyway, um, a photographer looks at things through different eyes. Definitely. Yeah. And maybe we'll see some of your pictures <coughs> now and um, we'll be able to shoot up some of Martin's pictures and uh, are we ready to do that soon? Yeah, a photographer sees things differently. Oh yeah, it, it changes your whole perspective. Even when you're out driving, you're all the time looking for photos, yeah. the sky, the different clouds, um, landscapes, you're all the time looking. Yeah, and people um, looking at photographs say, gosh, why didn't I? Now, here we are, this is somebody for photo. Now, come on, talk us through some of this. Yeah, this is down in West Cav, and I was just driving around looking, and is I that drove. Snow in the mountains? Yeah, I drove by, and I just seen this, and I said, oh, wow. So I reversed back and got out, and I took that photo. And, um, that is so, I really that, that like is it. so HD, isn't it? Really <coughs> high definition. Tell us how you got that. Well, first of all, I used a tripod. You yeah. need it right, you need it level. And I'm just going with the right settings. And um, that was shot with uh, F11, or ISO 100, mm. and we've got 160 uh, shutter speed. Okay, now, what, what drew you to that? The contrast there between the beautiful blue sky and the snow-capped mountains, was yeah, it? Yeah, and the statue. And yeah. It's a statue and I caught my eye first, and the background to it. Yeah. Where is that in Cavan Martin, if anybody wants to go and see it themselves? It's, it's down it's a near it's a Black Line, I can't actually mm. remember the name because yeah. I go to that many different Cabin. places, yeah. yeah. Okay, and moving on, oh look at this, is this what you're in Climby this week? Is this yeah, no, this is up in the Giants Causeway, in it's Antrim. just down, yeah, beautiful Fantastic. place. Beautiful. That was taken only about a month ago when we had the last good spell. Yeah. How did you get such? How do you get so much into the shot, Martin? Well, that's just taken straight out of the camera. There's very yeah. little done with that. Right. Yeah. So um, I like to be able to take the photo as I see it. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to do. You don't shop it afterwards. No, no, I'm trying to get whatever I see to be able to get it on yeah. the camera. Okay. Right, you might have to brighten it and maybe a yeah. bit of contrast, but no. It's great to be able to do that now with the cameras. You can do the quick bit. Yeah. Quick touch or whatever. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I this love the owls. Where did you get? How did you get a photograph of an owl? Tell me. Well, this is. Uh, I got this photograph in the place called uh, the Flying Eagles, in um, Sligo, and uh, I just caught this owl in the tree. Oh, 
Fantastic. And um, I got a few shots of him, but that's mm. the one I liked. That's the beautiful. Way he just it's like posed. he's giving it his good side. Kind yeah, of like, isn't exactly. It? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at, oh, look at this. Yeah. This is mommy and daddy and two baby ducks. Yeah, swans. Swans. Yeah. This was at the town lake in Baileyborough. Mm. I was driving by and I noticed the swans out on the grass. So I How come you didn't scare them now, Mar? Did it, how no, did you get so close to them? They're, um, they're really used to people. They really? Because yeah. Yeah. usually they run when they see people. Well, yeah. no, these now, well, I'm taking photographs that much of them. I think they nearly know me now. <laughs> you must bring them <laughs> bread, <laughs> do you? They're coming running for the breadcrumbs yeah. there, are they? Yeah. Um, this was Is a this the High Nelly? No. Yeah, this was a Tullivan Fair. And I just liked all the old bikes. And yeah. Um, so I just took this photo. You've won some awards as well. I oh, have, Dubshine, yeah. Dubshine, now tell us about your awards. I have, and this is the, the Castle Lake in Baileyborough. Um, I love there. Fantastic. I love the, the whole lake, the trees, the mist. It looks like the walkway is going down into yeah, the water. Yeah, it's leading it into the... That's yeah. what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's, that's what you were trying to get there, yeah. isn't it? Exactly. Fantastic. And I love the reflection of the trees in the, in the calm yeah, lake. Yeah, well, that's well. why I, I go down there early in the mornings to get the calm lake, to get the reflections. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah. If it's not right, I'll come back another day. It's so still. It's unreal, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a mirror. Do you have that really like half and half? half yeah. yeah. That's what I like to take. Some people say the rule of thirds, but mm. sometimes, no, it works for me when you... Mirror you, image, yeah, yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, this was in Doonery Park. He must be a pet as well, is he? No, he's not. And I didn't go too. Is it a grey squirrel or a yeah, grey squirrel? Yeah, grey squirrel. I didn't go too near him because. Wow. Um, and then he started to run, so I got him. And they move very the fast. Yes, extremely Don't they fast. Move very fast. I was running really? after him actually. <laughs> you had it in the what's it called that mode? <laughs> Heavy mode. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Now here we go. This is vintage. Yeah. I just took this in the Hibernian Club in Dublin, and um, it's for the, the bridal loft, and um, I was okay. taking photos there. Um, I was just looking for the vintage look. Yeah. Um, and this too is really 1920s. Yeah. I loved Charleston. it. Yeah. Gatsby, uh, the Gatsby. Yeah. Area. Gatsby um, area. It's like something in an old film. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at this now. This, yeah. This was during the week in, uh, in Kalini. Mm. Um, it's beautiful there. Um, I just, it's a long, it's very steep. You have to walk down a lot of steps. But I just, when I got there, it was, it was worth it. Just so you really like the landscape and the love, stillness yeah. and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> and this is on Dunleary at the People's Park. Mm. Uh, it's beautiful there. Yeah. Um, I love the clouds. And, and there's the, the, what do you call that? The pier. The pier, yeah. The pier I walked area. actually out to the yeah. end of that. I like your little dots of colour there with the red and the, the, the red, yeah. the people bringing in a bit of colour there. It's That's nice, what I want. It's I very postcardy like, you exactly, know? Exactly, yeah. Mm. Oh, look at the cloud formation in the sky there. That's yeah. fantastic. The this is that hold. The horse tail in the sky, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a sign of good weather though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened there? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the walk um, up. You can tell us the story it. about that walk now. You went, you did this right. big long walk to get a picture a of the ship that's next. Yeah, and I didn't realise how far I was after walking. <laughs> next <laughs> picture. <laughs> oh, I know it's oh. gone. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, this is another one of the Castle Lake. Mm. I love the clouds in this. Uh, it's the cloud formation. It's like a painting. Yeah, it is actually. Mm. Um, so if anybody, you'd recommend anybody to go along to a camera club if they're really inter interested in photography. Yeah. There's so much to learn and it's, it's, yeah, it's a lovely it's art, a, nice it's and a lovely it And it's a nice atmosphere and the beauty of it is that everybody is into photography. Mm. We're all there to enjoy it and that's what it is. And they don't bring in their cameras either, they bring in their little sticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the camera club with a, with a bag of cameras. Yeah, you actually wouldn't <laughs> see a camera. <laughs> <laughs> See a these little, you, these little sticks. This is the one now. Oh, this is the one. This is the yeah. one. Look at this. I was after walking down to get that shot of the host. That's in host. The host light has. Yeah, it looks like nearly like the, the stellar line is, is suspended from the sky. There, yeah, doesn't it? It does actually. Yeah. Fantastic imagery. 
until I realised in a fair I was after walking and had to walk back. <laughs> I had to back. go back out to get that shot. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. You did some work for a, ca a calendar as well, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. I did a photo for the MS Ireland calendar, Great. which I really liked doing because mm. um, my sister was MS, so oh, right. it meant a lot to me to okay. do that. Oh, here he is. Well, is this in Baileyborough again? Yeah, this is actually in the town lake in Baileyborough. I love the swans. There's something just magical about them. Yeah. And I was wanted there to share. I love the reflections in the water. Yeah. Ah, oh, here. Yeah, now. this is the one that was used in the calendar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's good. I was driving down the road and I seen the sunset. And now I tell me this: is that the colour? Did you did you do anything to the colour? No. There? You captured that. That's colour. straight out of the camera. Um, I just I actually literally jumped out of the car, grabbed the camera, and took the shot. Fantastic. And within a few minutes, that was gone. So I was lucky I had to get that yeah. shot. And I think actually we used a shot of Sheelan uh, as a backdrop for myself at Cabin TV News views one night and I like that. Right. Oh, and look this at And this is uh, Loch Rama. Well. Yeah, this is, well I had a filter on for this because um, otherwise it's too bright. <coughs> but I love the colour Serenity, I call this. Yeah. It's just, it's an amazing place there. You've won some awards as well, Martin, haven't you? I have, yes. I've been lucky enough to win mm. some competitions and um, I've I had a load of photos on t TV also mm. and TV3 and the weather I've had up on you 16. You send them into that and yeah. you're going to send them into Cabin TV yeah. as well. Now, another thing that we were talking about doing weddings and things like that is that nowadays people are looking for the, the quirky photograph, like yeah. the one that they're not posed and thing. The camera's sort of taken that little moment that nobody else yeah. sees. Everybody like, wants that's to That's what you're looking for. That's, that's what that's you're looking exactly for. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Mm. Because if you ask somebody to pose, it's not a true photo because, you know, people just, they don't smile, right? Yeah, the they're conscious. Yeah, they're, they're conscious. conscious. They're conscious. So you get that off-guard moment. Off-guard moment. And people like to put those photos in their, those photographs oh, in definitely. their albums as well. They, they are the ones they actually like the most that they don't even know you talk. Okay. Martin, you're a fantastic photographer and you are absolutely a fantastic eye. Now, if anybody wants to get in contact with you and get you to do um, some work for them, how do they find you? Well, I'm on Facebook, Martin Sheldon Photography, and that'll get me. And that'll get you. You're yeah. there on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Martin Sheridan, thank you so much for coming into the studio this evening and uh, sharing your images with you. They're absolutely beautiful. And to keep up the good work that you do for charity as well. Thanks and very thank much. you so much. Thanks to Martin, my guest in the studio tonight. Now we're going to take a quick break. Please come back and see what we have after the break. <laughs>